in a society where TV is practically a member of many families, where it is common to spend from 3 to 10 hours per day in front of the screen, it is necessary to start considering the possible effects that these habits might cause. TV is undoubtedly a great invention. The ability this innovation gives us to reach so much people instantly cannot be undervalued. But making it the center of our daily activities, making it the main source of information and entertainment we receive, can have some negative effects. Let me show you some good effects that a life with less or even no TV can have, and based on these, you can formulate the relative harmful effects of watching too much television. Several harmful effects caused by watching too much TV are mainly related with mental health. A life without TV allows you to spend your free time with a greater variety of activities. The 3 to 10 hours you would spend confined watching TV can now be used to improve your social skills, since people won't be always around. The time you would spend inactive in front of the screen can now be spent in activities that can improve your physical health, since you won't forever have the physical energy to do it. The time you would spend hindering your ability to think in front of an entertaining device can now be used to develop your mental toughness and improve your critical thinking, since a time will come when your mental energy will be dissipated. A life without TV makes you a more active person. Without a TV suddenly feeding your mind with beliefs and convincing you to take certain positions about different topics, you now have an opportunity to see things differently from the majority of the people you are now more likely to become an active person since you are away from the entertaining shows and the filtered information that TV provides, since you are now away from what causes people to become very passive to the problems that our society faces. A life without TV forces you to think. Without the quick information and formed opinions about almost everything you would continuously get from TV, you are now forced to think and evaluate any position regarding to a certain topic before taking one. You are now forced to think and make your own decisions, since the quick opinions and analysis from TV that would normally shape your perceptions of the world and affect your judgment are now unavailable. You are now forced to read books or find other sources of information since you are not anymore relying on television to be your only source of information. Now you can spend your free time in other activities. Now you can become a more active person and spend more time reading, since you are now living a life without TV.